Virgo, you awesome, amazing Virgo. Check this out as I was meditating. Boom. Love and passion. Virgo, your love and passion is unparalleled to all. But she loves with all your heart, soul, and being. Not just love, but sexually as well. No more baddies, narcissists, nor angry exes. But new, abundant, confident, and sexy lovers and loved ones. No more junior partners, just partners, equals. That past ex who dumped you for some ghosted hashtag never left is coming back or at least trying to come back. They can't even compare to your new love energy. You shine bright. They crash hard. Okay? Now, earlier I said she. Some of you felt that for the guys watching. Energy. 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 Okay? Boys have penises. Girls have vaginas. Take the genitals out of the situation. I'm playing with energy. We will know. For some of you, it is she. And you know exactly who you are. I don't need to explain that. Good, good, good. Okay. So. I love that we did this in, in No More Junior Partners, just partners. Someone's a lawyer, let me know in the comments, thank you, or in a law firm. Do you have junior partners in like a CEO, corporation? I guess you'd be partners and then you would be on the board and then with the CEOs. I don't know if they have junior, junior board members as well. So whoever's, in, not everybody's in an office, but this is what I'm seeing. Let me know if you're like a lawyer or CEO or you, I love that you're coming to Tarot then. Good for you. Good for you. Some of you are partners in YouTube or you have stock in YouTube, Facebook as well. Great stock to have. Good for you on it, which is funny. I don't do, ooh, maybe we should do stock. Uh, we'll have to get into that. We'll have to get into that. I think we, yeah. Intuitive stock, impressions, intuitive stock. Psychic ability. Okay, enough of that. Let's talk about love, baby. A lot of you are already with someone. But I'm getting a lot of you are just loving the one you're with. Not for everyone. Ooh, some of you are looking elsewhere. You do you. I ain't going to judge you. Someone here has many kids as well. And you just want to find a new dad, a new father, a new... Cool, 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 cool. I'm not saying you can't do you. I don't know. I'm going to say for me. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have any kids that I know of, but uh, when I do, my life's going to be about them. I'm finding my passion first and then going into that. That's all I'm going to say with that. That's all I'm going to say. Virgo right there. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's see about this new love and abundance coming in for you all. That's what I want to know about. Let's get... Mm -mm -mm, getting kinky. I've been crushing these sex fortune tarot cards today. I don't know why. I love them. Maybe because they're red. And I like red because it's passionate. <laughs> what a silly guy we are today. Ooh, I'm going to do some of these moon oracle cards as well. All right, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pull maybe three of these cards. It was just three, three, three on the clock. Love when that happens. Look that angel number up, y'all. Three, 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 but also three, 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 three. Because I said three verbally as well. Love on the rocks no more, y'all. I also did a video, I think it was a Capricorn video. Some of you might want to watch that video. It's way in, in all my, my videos. Some of you have been, been, been messing with the Capricorn. Was it a Capricorn? You let me know. Oof. Oh. So funny, when I first saw this, I said four of cults. Hopefully no one's in a cult because it's the four of clits, but it's such a beautiful card. Look at this. Look at this connection. Look at this person. You two are just, you're so on point and you're so, you fit together perfectly, perfectly. Like you can't get any, you can't get, can you get any closer than that, right? Now I'm hearing the number four. Look that up for me, y'all. Put the angel number four in the comments for me. Um, clear skies, uh, fruitful trees, like for, for fertility, you guys together are just this incredibly passionate couple. Like, look at this, even the guy, like of the masculine energy I'm getting, like is into it. You guys are just connected as one. 
you do these new positions together, and I mean this in, in sexually, but in love, in life, you do things in a new way, a new love for, for life in general. And I'm getting your work, you do it, you, you see things outside of a box because of how connected you are. Not just with this person, but with yourself as well, with God, with the divine, with everything. You are one with nature. Someone's a redhead. Oh, I'm always drawn to those redheads. Red, more red, passion. All right, all right, all right. I like them redheads. You know I do. Mm. And if you have a Scottish accent and redhead, stop flirting with me right now. This is about you all, Virgo. Okay? Look at this. You're also probably a mixed couple. And if not, don't worry, because it's an energy. But if you are, let me know. Mm, put it in the comments. Good for you guys. Who doesn't love a little mulatto baby? In every diff... I mean, this is what I've always said since I was a kid, okay? Um, I, we're going to talk about dogs. Not that you guys are dogs by all means. Do you know the smartest dog is is what we call... Uh, is it called a runt? Not a runt. What is it called? A mutt, right? All dogs are smart. I love all animals, but the mutt is far more, you guys already know, you, you've gotten those dogs from the pound and things like that, right? We're all brilliant. But man, when you mix all everything together, who, who didn't as a kid go to the 31 flavors and put all the different, right? Different ice creams in there. You know what I'm talking about. We're mixed. We're all mixed up in here in a good way, in a great way. We're all one. Remember that we are all one Virgo. Okay. So Great start off here. I love this. You are connected. You are looking at one another. It's funny. He's kind of, the guy is kind of looking down, like watching, like, you know, down here, like everything going on. And she's kind of watching up, but you are connected. You are one. You don't even have to, you do look at each other. You look each other in the eyes and you're into it, but you are so connected. You don't even have to. You finish each other's sentences, which is a psychic ability. Know that. Know that. Know that. I remember I dated this girl, like the second date we were hanging out or second day or something she went to the bathroom and to use it and i had uh, workout clothes that i left in there and we were naked by the way uh actually i probably just got naked well, i don't remember the whole story but she had overalls and she was much smaller than me and what happened is as i was sitting there she was using the bathroom she was in there a while i thought to myself i'm gonna put her overalls on and i did what do you think she came out of the bathroom she came out wearing my clothes Psychic abilities, okay? You are telepathic with one another. Woo! Jumping right into the Ten of Flesh Swords, romance, love, like epic sex, love sessions, like like sweeping passions. Like look at that, look at that uh that sunset right there. Okay? Healing, water, love. You guys are connected, you guys are facing one another all the time, facing one another. New beginnings, just just amazing. It's like the color, this confidence. Look at all that confidence, that solar plex energy together. Whew. The missionary. What did I say about y'all facing each other? Um, I call this my love card. They're all my love cards, but right here, look at that. Some of you are on a first date and you're about, oh my goodness, how did he know that? How did he know that? Let me know about that first date. It's going to go well. Yeah, you're going to have some sex on the first date. Hey, you do you. You do you. You both are very confident and competent though. You have Joe. Okay. Uh, I'm being stopped from saying that, but, but talk about this. The wine. You won't even finish your drinks. That's how much you're into one another. You guys are so connected. I'm getting the purple right here. Your, your um, consciousness, right? Your crown chakras. You've been wanting this. You've been needing this. Lovers. For some of you, it won't be a long time, maybe sexually, not that, but it might be a quick fling, but it's okay. That energy kind of catapults you. You're not using them, by the way. In this case, I'm just getting things just didn't, things didn't work out. Not for everyone. There is another storyline here. You guys are catapult together. Uh, the storyline we were talking about earlier into this new wonderful beginning. For those that it, it may not work out for, and I think you might have, this either happened already or you're in the middle of it or it's about to for some of y'all. It just brings in someone new. That's the right one. Not that they weren't the right one. Some, this, I'm really getting that it just didn't work out in that storyline. Nothing to be, you're not heartbroken. I'm not getting, mm, you're kind of like, all right, but, but, ooh, 
It's going to be amazing. He's going to go a long time. Someone needed to know that. For others, I'm getting that. I'm getting the women going down on another woman, but also, I mean, let's just break it down. We're going to make sure you finish first. That's all I'm hearing with that. Good. Good, good, good. Let me pull a couple of these moon tarot cards. I know we just went through an eclipse. I think a new one is coming up as well. I love when this happens. You saw me. You saw me about to shuffle it. And I split the deck. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to love this. You know why? Right there. You are good enough. You are good enough. And what does the bottom say right there? Full moon in Virgo. Virgo. I don't know why my voice got weird, but full moon in Virgo. We talked about the heart. Look at the green. Look at the green in that moon, your heart chakra. What did we say here earlier? What did we say? Again, this is a channeled message that I wrote down. Virgo, your love and passion is unparalleled to all. Boom. I mean, can we confirm this any more for you? Seriously. I'm going to just go with this right here. Communication is key, always, always. New moon in Gemini. They might be a Gemini coming in, this new person. Let me know in the comments, or you're with them. And not a, uh, I'm here, not a two-face either. I don't know why I had to say that. You two are going to talk for hours. Look at all the blue. Look at all the blue. That's throat chakra right there. You're going to talk sexy talk too. You're going to have so much sexy talk. It's going to really turn you on. That is hot. That is hot. I love that. When you're able to really communicate and talk about it with each other, but in a real fun, like, sexy way, confident way, too. I'm going to pull one more here. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. A lot, of, a lot of air energy right there, huh? Purple. Crown chakra. Connected. This is really going to hit home for a lot of y'all. Bring love into the situation. And again, Virgo, your love is unparalleled to all. All right. Thank you all very much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Till next time.